greetings from the Saddle Yankee Homestead. If this is your first time, welcome. If you're returning viewer, welcome back. Today we have quite a bit of stuff we need to get done. From it's some bits and pieces of chores to getting our milking stand that's right behind me there ready for milking because it's been about four weeks now since we had our kids and we like to wean them we like to start milking at least two weeks after kidding however this is the first time she's got all three of the babies so we decided to let her milk nurse them for an extra two weeks so come Monday we will start milking our goats so we need to get our milking stand clean and we need to get our tent set up because we milk outdoors since we don't have the facility to milk indoors so we need to get our tent set up we need to get the milking stand ready we need to check our pumps and all that good stuff yep there is boots we named her boots and she's naturally pulled that's one of her brothers. And if you notice, his horns are beginning to come in. Why are you hiding behind a tree? You playing peekaboo with me? You playing peekaboo? Hi. You playing peekaboo? There, his horns are beginning to come in. Hi, Mama. There's Mama. Hi, Mama. And there's the other brother behind our milking stand. See, his horns are coming in too. So we're beginning to think the females have the naturally pull because this is Dora, their aunt, and she doesn't have any horns like her sister.
here we've got our goat stand set up and ready for milk milking tomorrow and also some hoof maintenance it's moved make sure it stays at five you don't want it to go past you don't want to go to like 10 or so if it's that so high that means that's yeah, so anything between five and zero oh, is good enough suction see it's just flowing on its own <laughs> And here you have it, our first quart of milk. Yay, so happy. Woohoo! Well, it's not quite a quart, it's more like three quarter of a quart. So, still better than anything. It will get better. Um, I probably could have gotten a full quart from her because she's a good milker. I typically get a pint from one teat back when we were milking, but because she has three kids, I decided I'm not gonna push it so this is at the point where she stopped flowing and I could have massaged and got a full quart out of her but I decided not to as she get rid of the kids we'll get more milk from her but anyways I'm done rambling I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions about her milking techniques or anything you need to know about milking and if you're milking for your for the first time and you're a little worried about it go ahead give us a shoot us a comment uh, reach out to us and yeah all that good stuff thank you for watching hope you enjoyed i'll catch you on the next one bye bye